You're tuned in to Capital Jazz TV. I'm your host, Jodine Dorsey. We are on the 13th annual Capital Jazz Super Cruise, and no stranger to the cruise, no stranger to the Capital Jazz family, our brother, Rasan Patterson, is here. How are you? I am good. How are you? I'm good. Good you to good? see you. Mm -hmm. It's always good to see you, Rasan. Yes, it is. It's nice always to see you, good always. to see you perform. Thank you. Can we talk about the standing room only bigger venue next next time? Sure, if they'll have <laughs> me in the bigger venue. You know, I think uh, sometimes there tends to be an underestimation of yes. uh, the level of support and yeah. uh, following that I do have. Yeah. But yeah. Um, hopefully next time will be different. It was so packed. It was standing room only. I was like, sit I was standing all the way in the back, but your voice was incredible. Thank you. And you've been singing since you were yay high. Mm -hmm. What do you do with your voice? Like, seriously, like what's, what do you do with your voice to keep it as pitch perfect as you do? Um, I rest a lot. Okay. Um, I have my regimen that I start the morning of when I sing, which is mm. uh, drink a lot of water, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but also honey Okay. throughout the course of the day leading okay. up to uh, when I have to sing. Mm -hmm. And then decongestants <laughs> and things like that, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect, perfect. So, went on his Facebook today. Uh oh. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sip. Cheers. Cheers. Uh oh. <laughs> went on your Facebook today. Mm -hmm. What happened with you and the f bomb and some of your and, and some of your followers? Tell oh, me. Oh, that's. What funny. is what is happening right now? Well, that was from last year, I think. Uh huh. And um, I had put up a post. Using the word the f bomb, the f bomb, the f bomb, and there was a woman who took offense to it and basically scolded me for using it, and I had to inform her that I've been a cursor since I was a child, mm. <laughs> and that you know I use those types of words mm -hmm. daily, mm -hmm. and I'm grown. We all grown. Yeah, and you know then people on Facebook kind of went in on her, but you know. Yeah. It happens sometimes. <laughs> it's it's funny because when I read that, I was just like, do people really know Rasan Patterson? No. Like, <laughs> we know the artist, right? Like, you know the artist. We come to his shows. We, uh -huh. You know, the people that are watching this, they are, they're all fans. We come to your shows. We see you perform. We feel like we know you. Mm -hmm. We feel like you sing your songs to us. Yes. The storytelling... I know Rasan Patterson, but uh -huh. do you think that people really know you through your music? I do believe that people know me through my music because I have always made it a point to be transparent through my music. Got it. Um, in my writing, in mm -hmm. my vocal delivery, mm -hmm. um, just sharing my life, mm -hmm. you know? and my feelings about things and being vulnerable, mm -hmm, you know? Mm -hmm. um, Do you get to be vulnerable through the music, through your storytelling? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, you know, when I first started writing songs for my first album, when I was like maybe 17, mm -hmm. it was important to me after discovering the intimacy of that, that I remained authentic in doing yes. that because I think that makes a difference in how people receive what you do. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's room and space for people to just entertain and sing songs about money or being happy or, you know, love and all that kind of stuff, relationships. Um, but sharing intimate detail about your specific experience mm -hmm. and the unique way in which you articulate that, mm -hmm. you know, there's an intimacy in that and your delivery and people do appreciate that, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's, I, I believe that that's what makes people gravitate more to specific artists because they do that and intentionally. They, the connection that's there. Yeah. It's a connection. Absolutely. And there's an intention in that. You, you know, as an artist, you have to be aware of your output. Mm-hmm. You know, how you're doing it, why you're doing it, what um, separates you from others, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And uh, for me, that's always been important to 
find my place, mm -hmm. own that space, and mm -hmm. occupy that space and, and, and do me 100% in that space. And it shows because... Rasan, seeing you perform, and I see you, I've, I've seen you s several times, I always enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You are so comfortable in your skin, and I, I don't even know how to like articulate it. Like when you're on stage and you're singing, mm -hmm. you give no wrong word shits about what's happening, <laughs> right? <laughs> you don't. But you I feel don't. everything. But you feel everything. Yeah. Ooh, talk to me about that. What does that mean? That means um, that one could perceive that I am perhaps detached to some degree. Mm -hmm. um, I am absolutely taking in all of the energy from the audience, from the stage, from the musicians, um, my own energy and where that fits into everything. Uh, but more importantly, because the stage has been where I've done most of my work all of my life, true. True, true, true. that assists in the comfort level that does exist. Mm. And my approach to my concerts and what I do on stage is to some extent allowing the intimacy of the space and, and how I'm transmitting the energy from the stage i don't view it as a performance i know that it is a performance i know people are coming to see me perform right. but i'm not dancing i'm not putting on airs to make you applaud or say oh that was a great show right. i'm in my my space whatever those feelings are that come up for me in those moments, that's what I share. You know, even if it's a sad moment or a reflective moment that brings emotion up for me, I, I allow that to come through. You know what I mean? And uh, people feel that. And ultimately, when they leave, they enjoyed the show, but they understand that it was a Rasan Patterson experience. Yep. It wasn't just going to see a show yeah. or a performance. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like this. It's, there's it's a, that connection. It's a connection. It's and, connection. And there's a conscious effort on my part to connect with people in that way. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I want to ask you about the last album, Heroes and Gods. Okay. But I want to do this really quick game with you. Okay. Not even a game. I, I am very intentional about these questions. So I want you to fill in the blank. Okay. Finish my sentence. You have no time. Impulse, whatever comes. Okay. Lightning. Got to hit you. Okay. Right? So I'm going to start the sentence and you're going to finish it. This is going to be fun because I love throwing Rasan off. Because <laughs> he's very calculated in every word he uses. I hope you all uh, see that. So I wanted to make sure I caught you off oh guard here. Oh, boy. All right. So finish this up. In 2020, I can see peace mm. with who myself more of it yeah yeah okay okay <laughs> okay he's getting me people really don't know that i am insane Rasan, <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> you turn up turn up let me find out you be turning up turn I up i have my moments <laughs> And I have had my years of turning up to where now I turn down and lay down, mostly. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Okay. I create music because I... Have to. Mm. Why? Is it called... Did it call you or did you call it? Mm. Um, it called me. It called me, yeah. I feel that. Yeah. I feel that. I really want to work with Sade. Ooh, stop it now. Yeah. I see it. Can y'all imagine a Sade and Rasan Patterson collaboration? That would be nice and quiet. 
nice Ooh, that quiet. would feed my soul. Yes. Ooh, yeah. I would love that. I'd love that too. Last one. I am. Mm. Transparent. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we get that from the music. Mm -hmm. We definitely feel that from the music. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you for that. Thank you. I know we've got to wrap it up, but I've got to ask you, how's Heroes and Gods going? Heroes That's and one Gods. One of the best in 2019. Thank you Top very much. Top five for me. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. It has been growing and reaching mm -hmm. people more and more. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the life of the music is everlasting, really. Okay. You know? And so when people discover it, um, they tend to appreciate it and support it, and um, it sticks to them. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I really couldn't ask for more than that. Good. Yeah. What's next? What's next? More singing, more shows. I've been yeah, thinking about another album, like, sooner than later oh we're not going we're not waiting for another album you about to do a little uh, something uh you know it's floating around and okay. ideas and stuff are okay. cultivating and songs are coming up so okay it could be sooner than seven years eight years <laughs> <laughs> and that's what i meant sooner than seven years yeah. I, I would take it I would take it. Well, Rasan, thank you so much for joining us here on the Capital thank Jazz you. Super Cruise. I'm so glad we got to do it together again. I, yes, yes, because yes, I love talking to you. I always Likewise. get life lessons when I talk to you, and that's on the real. Thank you. And that's on the real. How do people stay in contact with you? How do they know where you're going next? Rasan.com, R-A-H-S-A-A-N.com, mm -hmm. and then Instagram, Rasan Patterson, Facebook, Rasan Patterson, also Rasan Patterson, music on Facebook, and then my name is Too Long. On Twitter with the number two. My, too long on Twitter. With My, the name, is two. Long with My the name is too long. My name is too long. Okay. Okay. Well, perfect. Thank you for joining us on the You're 13th welcome. annual Capital Jazz Super I'm Cruise. I'm glad to be here. Always a pleasure to see you here Likewise. on the cruise. Likewise. Always here feeding ourselves. The Super Cruisers love them. Thank you so much. This is Jodine, and you are watching Capital Jazz TV.